What's up, what's up everyone? This is OK Alex once again. Welcome back to my Forex Dominance channel. And before I continue with this content, I would like you to subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you can continue receiving my content. Today is going to be very different. I've created something I've never created on my Forex Dominance channel before. Drum roll. I've just created a new tool called the Nasdaq Robot. This Nasdaq Robot only works on Nasdaq. I've spent months testing, backtesting, developing this robot before bringing it out to the public. Before diving into the specifics of this robot, let me answer some questions some traders have been asking me behind the scene. Why trade Nasdaq? First and foremost, Nasdaq is home to a lot of big tech companies in the industry. Another huge advantage of trading Nasdaq is liquidity. Nasdaq is one of the most traded indexes globally, which means you can enter and exit a position conveniently without drastic price changes. Now, with all these advantages of trading Nasdaq, this has led me to create this powerful robot called the Nasdaq robot. You always know me, I like backtesting, testing things before bringing it out to the public. Now, what is the result using this Nasdaq robot? What is the drawdown? What is the potential ROI monthly or yearly? Before you know this, I've already done a lot of forward testing on live account and demo account. But for you to see all these results, then you have to continue watching this video. Because right now, I have to take it to my screen and show you my VPS, why this robot is really worth using on a live account. Because I've used different settings to really make you see this robot is really worth using on a live account. Like you always know me, if I don't test anything, if I don't backtest them, if I don't try to forward test them, I'm not bringing it out to the public. Interested in giving it a spin? Let me take you to my screen right now. All right, let me show you how this Nasdaq robot really works. So uh, these are the input settings. You can see the lot exponential. You can see the lot size. You can see the TP, the SL, the grid space, the magic number, the buy confirmation ratio, sell confirmation ratio, the buy profits dollar, sell profits dollar. All these settings parameters will be explained to you. I just want to show you the back testing so that you see how it works. So let me click on OK. Then I have to make sure I show you something. I'm using tick data. Look at this area. I'm using real tick data. So this is not just a uh, demo account testing. This is like using a real data to back test this NASDAQ. So uh, let's start the back testing right now. So take note of something again. It also works. I like using it on one hour time frame. That is the best time frame. So let's start the back testing. Okay, the back testing I've started right now. So let me click on skip so that it can be very fast. And let's be checking the graph to see what is really going on. So don't forget the uh, NASDAQ uses uh, a great style of trading, but there's something about the exit plan. You can see uh, the NASDAQ has TP and it also has a uh, buy profits dollar or sell profits dollar. Now, what I've done into this coding is that I've coded this EA to close in different ways, either to use this top, uh, either to use this take profit or either to use uh, buy uh, profit dollar or sell profit dollar. You understand? So those are the two things I've created into this EA. Now, uh, this EA knows when to use either of the two uh, system to close the trade in profit. So let me show you an example now for you to see what I'm trying to say. Let's try to be patient. I want to show you a typical example. So uh, this particular trade is trying to close in TP. Okay, this closes in TP. Let's, close. Let's continue watching. Let's continue watching. I quickly want to show you something. So this Nasdaq robot is really worth using because I've done my back test very well before trying to show you all these things. I've also tested it. So I just want to show you how it closes trades. As sometimes you have some drawdown. In Forex, you have to have drawdowns. <laughs> so if everything is uh, going straight in Forex, uh, then you have to be thinking of something. So everything does not go straight in Forex. You have drawdowns, you have some losses, but your profits must always uh, continue uh, going up. Now you can see from this angle now, you can see this is the take profit area. 
but this EA might close the profit around this area. Let's try to see if that happens. And you can see it closes. If you can, if you can see here, it closes around this area instead of closing around this TP area. You understand? So that is the reason why I really love this EA. It uses two exit plan. Either use TP or use your buy profit dollar or your sell profit dollar. Then there's something again I have to show you. This EA uses stop loss. Look at the stop loss there. This is the stop loss here. And you can see this is the take profit there. So I also included a stop loss strategy. Uh, you can try to reduce your stop loss. But I like increasing the stop loss. Because I'm also using a great strategy to exit the trade in profits. Or either in small loss. You understand? Now, uh, let me take you to my uh, VPS so that I show you some uh, live accounts and demo accounts. I'll be using this NASDAQ on. So this, uh, let me show you. Let's start from here. So this is uh, a demo account. Uh, this account started, let's check the account. The account started with uh, 20K. You can see it's a demo account. So you can see from here, it's a demo account. So the account started with 20K. And now, uh, let's try to see how much profit this Nasdaq robot has made. So, it has made a total profit of 40k. You can see it here, 40k. And the deposit was 20k demo account. So, I was using an aggressive settings before on this demo account. Then, I later changed it back to... A very conservative settings so let's try to check the settings here yeah? so this is the settings I use so this is the particular settings I'm using right now so I'm trying to be very patient until the Nasdaq sees the right time to enter the forest market now let's check another uh, account this is a I think this account started with 10k is a very conservative settings too let's try to check so you can see it also started with uh, 10k you can see it here so it started around this area then let's try to check uh the profits this ea has made on this account because i'm using a very conservative settings here too a very conservative settings so this account i just made uh 1937 and the deposit was like 10k so this is a very uh, slow account, but I'm just trying to test different settings to be see what is uh, what really using on a live account. Then let me quickly show you uh, a live account right now. So look at this live account here. This account started around started around here, twenty twenty three zero seven. You can see here. This is the account. Then let's check the total profit of the account. So the total profit of the account is six one three eight six one six one three eight. You can see it here, and the deposit was hundred uh, k. I just want you to know something. Why using this Nasdaq robot on your live account? You can decide to be aggressive or conservative. So if you want to be aggressive, you just have to change your buy ratio or your uh, sell confirmation ratio. But if you want to be conservative, you can also change the ratio of how you want the buy to quickly enter or how you want the sell to quickly enter on the Nasdaq pair. Now let's go back to our uh, back testing and see what is going on there. Okay, the back testing is still making sense. So uh, this robot is really worth using. Uh, if you really see uh, how it works, because I like showing things i like being transparent because uh, a lot of uh, scammers outside there they like trying to hide things behind the scene they won't show you how a robot really works but i have to bring this out because gone are the days where you can't uh you don't even have time to do some back testing you don't have time to do some paper trading this is what i do for a living i try to make time to do all the back testing for you i try to make time to do some forward testing for you and if i bring it out to the public and you see wow this thing is worth using on a live account then you can take it upon yourself and start using this ea so until you see my next video i will continue bringing out new tools either free version or paid version i just want to try to make forex traders see that it is possible 
to make a living out of forex trading. My name remains Oki Alex. This is Forex Dominance channel and this is what you have been watching since. So until you see my next video, I will continue creating content and tools for you to make your forex journey very easy for you. Trade conservatively, don't trade aggressively because in forex trading, all what we want is consistency. Yeah, peace.